from WJSU-TV, Aniston Gadsden, the TV40 News 10 o'clock report. The News with Catherine G. Ted Kay's Weather. And Sports with Chuck Strickland. Hello, I'm Catherine G. State revenue officials say they can prove Alabama's economy is growing. State Revenue Commissioner Jim Sizemore says state revenue collections reached a record level of $3.1 billion in the fiscal year that just ended last month. Sizemore had revenue collections on his mind tonight in Gadsden. The governor's tax reform advisory committee held the latest, latest of its public hearings in Gadsden. Some of the previous meetings have been known for their lack of public support, but tonight's meeting at the Elliott Community Center attracted over 80 people. State Revenue Commissioner Sizemore held a press conference before the meeting. He said the Hunt administration is hoping to simplify the current Alabama tax system and is soliciting ideas from both lobbyists and the general public. But what we're really interested in these meetings is hearing ideas from individual taxpayers, ideas that, 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 that we may not have access to yet. Uh, so they have as good a chance of, of, of giving us an idea that winds up in the program as anybody else does. Legislation will be introduced on the first day of the next regular session of the Alabama Legislature. Calhoun County Water Authority says county customers should be getting more water and paying a higher price for it. The authority is working on a proposed expansion, a project which would take no longer than a year. Officials say once the project is completed, an average household bill would increase by three to four dollars. They say an increase of two dollars would be expected for single residents or couples who use the amount of water on which the authority's minimum bill is based. The Anderson City Council held a work session tonight to discuss the proposed addition of a Golden Springs route to the city's transit system. Neil Kilgore of the Transportation Advisory Board presented the 45-minute route through the residential, shopping, and industrial areas of Golden Springs. At this point, the proposed route has eight stops, but may, many more may be added if the city approves the addition. Mayor Bill Robinson and Councilman Chester Weeks agreed to continue discussions and make a decision in another session in two weeks. Anderson residents had the chance tonight to hear proposals for revitalizing the downtown area. The details are coming up. TV 40 News is sponsored by the Sunny King World Auto Center. Ford, Honda, Volvo, Chrysler Plymouth, Yugo, Sterling, Subaru, and Isuzu. It's goodbye Ford Thunderbird at Sunny King Ford. 2588 T-Birds ready to fly at the best prices of the year. With Sunny King's closeout discounts and the factory rebates, save as much as $3,000. And it's so long 88 Taurus. Save up to $2,000 with King discounts and Ford rebates. Taurus is the one on all three 10 best lists. Road and track, car and driver, and USA Today. 20 Taurus ready for delivery now at Funny King Ford, South Quintard, Aniston. Attitudes regarding the stock market have changed since the crash one year ago on Wall Street. Diana Michaels spoke with CBS This Morning economic correspondent Robert Corlich, who says the next president will determine the strength of the market. A crash like last year's may happen again, but this time it's more likely in Tokyo and not New York. Has there been a cautious attitude when it comes to investing and selling stocks? Oh yes, there's a very cautious attitude. It's sort of natural. When you go through an experience as startling and as scary in the hours that it took place as that one, you're reminded again that things can go down. You know, for a long time, last year and the year before, many people were beginning to believe that you know stocks would keep going up and up and up they remembered about down but it was kind of off you know on the horizon now we remember about down so certainly caution reigns you can watch a special report on the stock market on cbs this morning tomorrow morning a program to revitalize downtown anderson was presented to local residents at a public meeting tonight representatives of alabama's main street usa program addressed measures to improve anderson's business district Chris Shumway has more in this report. Alta Hodson of the Alabama Historical Commission presented numerous statistics proving the Main Street program's success in other Alabama cities. 
She cited increases in private investment, public investment, rehabilitated buildings, and new businesses in a collection of towns where Main Street has become a local source of revitalization. In addition, she also mentioned the substantial sales tax increase in Decatur. Last year alone, sales tax in the downtown area averaged, I believe I said, I've got the figures with me, 16%, whereas the city at large was running about 9% increase over the previous year. So there was a greater increase in the downtown areas in the city overall. Most Main Street cities use a variety of programs ranging from newsletters, special events, and tourist brochures to creating new uses for existing buildings. Hodson says it takes a total effort from the city and the Main Street program should not be abandoned after a few years. Hopefully as the property owners rehabilitate their buildings, as the merchants begin to unify and promote downtown as a unit, develop joint advertising, as you begin to bring people more downtown, there's going to be a greater need for the Main Street program to continue to manage this success as well as to go into the other problem areas that you've not had time to address. Hudson believes that a vital downtown area improves the quality of life in the entire city. Chris Shumway, TV40 News. An attorney for a woman seeking a share of Hank Williams Sr.'s music royalties went to the Alabama Supreme Court today. The attorney for Kathy Von Stone said administrators of the country singer's estate thought no one would know if they left out an illegitimate daughter. But Bobby Black, an attorney for a deceased administrator of Williams' estate, says Stone's appeal was, in his words, showbiz. Attorneys for the 35-year-old woman attempted to convince the justices that administrators of the elder Williams estate conspired to conceal her identity from her until she could no longer make a legitimate claim uh, as an heir. Students in the Calhoun County school system will now be able to take their books with them to do their homework. That story's next. It's the biggest cashback deal in Yugo history. Up to $750 cash back on every tough, dependable Yugo in stock at Sunny King Yugo. Every new 88 Yugo comes back with a four-year, 40,000-mile powertrain limited warranty and totally free maintenance the first year or 12,000 miles. The lowest sticker price of any new car in America. An outstanding warranty and now up to $750 cash back. Come to Sunny King Yugo during Yugo's cash back clearance days. In just a matter of weeks, Calhoun County school teachers and students will have more tools to work with. We see in this report from Paulette Miller that more textbooks are on their way. The Calhoun County Board of Education has just ordered some 2,700 new textbooks, $45,000 worth in fact. County schools have been in need of those books for some time now, but didn't have the money to purchase them. The education budget passed recently by the state legislature made the purchases possible. Because there were not enough new English and social studies books for every student, none of the new books were allowed to leave the classroom, only the old ones. That will soon change. They were not allowed or able to assign work that would have to be done at home out of new books. So this was free. This will free the teachers to teach more effectively, would you say? Yes, it will. The teachers uh, can now issue the books as soon as we receive them, and the students will be able to carry them home and to use them at home for homework. It, it being one of the tools used by the classroom teacher, uh, certainly it uh, uh, is a vital tool uh, needed by the teacher and needed by the students and and it will uh, be helpful uh, in you know for the uh, uh, long-term test results uh, performance of the student and uh, this type of thing school officials say the textbooks should be in the classrooms in less than a month paulette miller tv 40 news for reasons yet unexplained the death rate among children who have asthma is increasing in tonight's house call, brought to you by Citizens Hospital of Talladega, our medical expert, Dr. Bob Lanier, offers hope to parents of asthmatic children. Over 8 million children in this country have a problem known as asthma, a condition where the lung airways tighten up, making a whistling sound. The children and their mothers shoulder the burden of this problem, often in the middle of the night. One mother, Nancy Sander of Fairfax, Virginia, has done something very constructive with the concern generated from her daughter's asthma. I think the loneliest time that I personally ever experienced as a parent of a child with asthma is at night holding my baby 
and rocking her in the rocking chair and trying to help her breathe and feeling like I was the only one doing it. It was very stressful. I looked around for all kinds of practical information that would provide us with uh, the how-tos of adapting our family. I decided to help other parents through that period between diagnosis and control. And so I started a newsletter at my kitchen table. Nancy's uh, broken typewriter eventually has reached over 5,000 families around the world. And the Mothers of Asthmatics newsletter now offers hope and common sense advice to parents like you. I'm Dr. Bob Lanier. Census Bureau workers will, be, will begin compiling house-by-house -house address lists in the area this week. Beginning on Friday, census workers will be in Calhoun, Etowah, and Shelby counties, and in Talladega and Sylacauga. They will be walking and driving on roads, knocking on doors, and asking residents for their current mailing address. The census employees will be identified by a red, white, and blue ID badge. Residents will only be asked questions concerning their address. There are some clouds in the area, but what about rain? Ted is next with our forecast, so stay with us. There's nothing quite like the smile on a child's face. But when the child is sick and the smile is gone, they need special care. The kind of care they receive from the pediatricians of Talladega. These caring professionals understand the needs of children. They help turn those little frowns upside down. Happy, healthy children. That's our goal. Citizens Hospital. We're here for life. Introducing the truly revolutionary Panasonic KXE700M electronic typewriter. The 700M has everything you need to do any typing job faster and better. Just about anyone can use this new Panasonic. You'll never again buy any more or any less typewriter than you need. The Panasonic KXE700M modular typewriter. See Chris Birch at Aniston Business Machines, Aniston. Jacksonville got some violent weather tonight, didn't they? Yeah, we're hoping that those who had their power outages mm -hmm. in Jacksonville are now tuned in because they need <laughs> lights and they need their power electricity back. to tune in. So we're hoping that our Jacksonville residents are with us. And there was some da damaging wind also in Gadsden. We'll mention that right after we talk about the low morning temperature of 50 degrees and a high of 79. Present temperature is 70 degrees. Relative humidity, 81%. Barometric pressure, 30.07 and rising. Winds out of the north at 12 miles an hour. We had a southerly flow, a southwesterly flow of winds throughout the state, but now they're coming out of the north. So that indicates for those people in Gadsden area, Etowah County and Cherokee County, Piedmont, northern part of Calhoun County, the winds are shifting. We're clearing out. But those of you who are in Clay and Randolph County, Parts of Talladega be prepared for some, maybe at times, heavy rains. One of the reasons for that is there's a cold front beginning to march on through the state. Any area that it touches, it'll change the weather, especially in Montgomery southward. Our morning cloud cover is confined mostly to the north of, the, north of Kentucky, but then it begins to fill in Kentucky, Tennessee, and northern Alabama. Huntsville, Muscle Shoals, Birmingham have had most of the rain throughout the late afternoon. And you can see the evening cloud cover. That's beginning to move farther to the south. So Montgomery is partly cloudy skies, but that's going to change. Talladega, partly cloudy skies. That will change also. Wednesday morning, though, the cold front moves to south Alabama, giving a rain chance to south Alabama. In the afternoon, we'll have mostly cloudy skies. But in the late in the afternoon, we'll begin to clear up as that high-pressure system sends its northerly winds into the northern part of the state. On Thursday, it's looking good. Also, we begin to clear out again northerly winds. We'll get down to more October-like weather towards the end of the week as the jet stream moves in from the north and gives us cooler weather throughout the state of Alabama. As I had mentioned, rain chances still going on in Huntsville as where as we are located in the aniston gadsden Piedmont area, for example. But South Alabama, partly cloudy skies. That'll all change, though, as the cold front begins to migrate farther to the south. We'll have our summary forecast right after this. 
Gene Gene Moats Auctioneers is at it again this Saturday at 10 a.m. at the Carriage House Inn in Addiston. Auctioning prime residential, commercial, and investment real estate in Talladega and Calhoun counties. Don't miss your chance on these choice properties in Talladega County. Acreage, commercial lots, and buildings, vacant lots, and in Calhoun County, choose from homes on lots, homes on acreage, residential lots, some sites up to 80 acres. Remember, the sale site is the Carriage House in Addiston, Alabama, 10 a.m. Saturday by Gene Moats Auctioneers Incorporated. Don't miss it. She looks like Marilyn. She talks like Marilyn. You've got to wonder if she thinks she is Marilyn Monroe. It's really Marilyn Monroe letting herself out. On the next Entertainment Tonight, you'll meet the next best thing to Marilyn herself. Her name's Julie Miller, and for the past 17 years, she's played the role of Marilyn. I'm obsessed when I'm doing it. What's it like being Marilyn? What do her family, friends, and lovers have to say? We'll reveal the inside story on the next Entertainment Tonight. Entertainment Tonight, following Late Night. I said, no way. I, I'm not sick. I don't feel sick. And I, I can beat this. On the next Sally Jesse Raphael, they have AIDS. I'm stubborn. If you, you tell me I'm going to die, I'm not going to. But they're fighting back. I'm living today, and I'm going to live tomorrow, because I have friends that need me. If you learn you're mortal, you start living. That's what these people did. And then you feel too good to die. Meet survivors of AIDS on the next Sally. Sally Jesse Raphael. Tonight, following Entertainment Tonight. All right, tonight we do have periods of rain, so that's in our forecast. Periods of rain, a few thunder showers, 55 degrees in the morning. But when the winds come out of the north at 5 to 10 miles an hour, it should clear us out somewhat. But tomorrow we'll have to at least put in mostly cloudy skies, 72 in the afternoon, 50 at night. North winds at 10 miles per hour will be cleared up for the extended forecast. Partly cloudy skies, 70 degrees in the afternoon, cooler 48s at night. North winds, and there was some wind damage in Jacksonville and Gadsden. Uh, it was, seemed to be confined, though, to local areas, but I'm, as I mentioned, and you had mentioned, I hope the viewers are with us now. That was the north part of Jacksonville, yes, right? Yes, north part of Jacksonville. Thank you, Ted. Okay. Well, you went to Oxford today, is that right? Oxford. You're they out and are, about all the time. All the time. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> they are very, very busy and uh, mm -hmm. really, though, rather relaxed considering what's coming up on Friday night. But, of course, this is only Tuesday. So it's better to be kind of relaxed before a big game rather than be all tense, you know. Uh, that could produce fumbles, interceptions, penalties, all those kind of things that nobody, if is you're that, for that team, wants. Is that speaking from experience? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and talking to all these coaches, too. That's you know, right. they fill me in on all that stuff. We're going to look at Oxford. The World Series, of course, going on tonight. All kind of things right after this. There's a special kind of nurse that takes great pride in their work. To them, nursing is more than just a job. It's a way of life. And nothing shows this pride more than a uniform from Aniston Health and Sick Room Supplies. Stylish uniforms and shoes that hold up well and look great for a long time. Nancy Austin Waters and staff ensure the best in service and selection. Aniston Health and Sick Room Supplies, where quality costs less. 930 Keith Avenue, Aniston. Taco Mexico is not famous for its bullfighting. But it is famous for its deliciously fresh beef burrito dinner. Now just $2.49, only at Del Taco. What does it take to succeed in business these days? A high-tech computer? Delete that! A fancy phone system? Wrong number. But where would you be without the right business cards, invoices, forms, and brochures? You say, Royce, we already got them. I say, that's not good enough. Where did you get them from? You don't need a computer to figure that out. Do you? Good evening, everyone. In Game 3 of the 1988 World Series, it's Los Angeles 1, Oakland 1 at the end of seven innings of play. The Dodgers currently lead the series two games to none. It's only three days away. Of course, I'm speaking of the football clash between rivals Oxford and Welburn. The Yellow Jackets are getting ready. Oxford has had a remarkable 88 high school football season so far. Robert Herring's Yellow Jackets have already defeated Pell City, Anniston, Talladega, Gardendale, Southside, Homewood, and Sachs. It's the upperclassmen who've made it happen. Well, I think, first of all, you have to talk about the senior leadership. We've got 
18 seniors, and they've all done a good job, and they played hard, and we've had 15 guys that went to new positions this year, and they made the transition real good. And so I had stayed number one for us, the seniors and our juniors that come on and played great ball for us. They've been consistent, our juniors, and so uh, it's just been, it's taken everybody, juniors and seniors, to put together this ball club this year. This week, the Jackets will play host to Welburn in what has been billed as the showdown in Oxtown. Both teams have perfect records. The game will probably decide the 5A Area 12 championship, and the participants are arch rivals. I tell you, Chuck, it's, it's going to be one of the biggest games that we've ever played in, and I'm just glad it's in this community on this side of town, and, and it's like playing backyard rivals, and they do a great job out at Welburn, and we just feel fortunate to be 7-0 and playing a team like Welburn. It's 8-0. And uh, we feel like the game would be to kind of go right down to the end of the fourth quarter. Certainly, Herring feels there are keys to achieving victory against a school and coach he has a lot of respect for. We think that we got control of the ball. We feel like Welburn's got such a powerful offense that we, if we turn the ball over to them quick, they'll score lots of points, and we don't want to get in a scoring duel with Welburn this year. Coach Bowles is a good friend, and he does a tremendous job, and always hard nosed, and and he takes big guys and do a good job, and takes small guys and do a good job. And uh, we think they got the best offense that they've had in the four years we've been here this year. I'll be at Welburn tomorrow. The Gadsden High School football team has been notified by the Alabama High School Athletic Association that it will be ineligible for the state playoffs this year. Here's why. Gadsden was scheduled to play Cedartown of Georgia on its eighth playing date. Cedartown scheduled Gadsden on its eighth playing date. The problem was Cedartown started a week later than Gadsden, so Cedartown's eighth playing date was Gadsden's ninth playing date. Gadsden already had a game scheduled for its ninth playing day. Cedartown already had a game scheduled the night they were to play Gadsden, so the game between Gadsden and Cedartown was called off. The problem for Gadsden is that Cedartown was a designated counter game. Under the Alabama High School Athletic Association rules, if a school fails to play a designated counter game, that school becomes ineligible to participate in the playoffs. Auburn will host Mississippi State Saturday. The game has added importance because it's an SEC counter. Alabama will host Penn State in Birmingham. Nittany Lion head coach Joe Paterno had these comments about the high expectations that exist at schools like Penn State and Alabama. And question that that's, a, that's one of the big problems we have. People have too, too high expectations in a place such as Alabama or Penn State. But on the other hand, you like people to have interest in your program. Uh, and I'm not going to back away from the kind of pressure that goes with with uh, the interest. I think people throwing rocks through your window is a little bit excessive. Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I get letters and, I, and other things like that, that, which I just, you know, I realize are going to come and I dismiss them. I don't particularly, criticism doesn't bother me, but if people start throwing rocks at me, I think it might bother me. As hot as my head is, and I think it's very unfortunate that the Alabama people would would get carried away to the degree that there's a possibility of giving, uh, creating physical harm for, for Curry. I think Curry's done a fine job, had a lot of injuries. Last year he had a lot of injuries and he survived, they got the team rallied around, they, they, and they played well at the end of the year and went to a bowl game. And right now they're up for him. Uh, and uh, uh, I think now that he's got his quarterback situation straightened out, and as I said earlier, now that they've overcome the shock of losing Humphreys and Jokes, they seem to be getting back in the groove. You can see the Alabama game Saturday afternoon at 1.30 right here on Channel 40. We'll hear from Jacksonville State head coach Bill Burgess after this. Carpet your whole house. Yes, your whole house from Foot Brothers Carpet World with DuPont certified Stainmaster Carpet by Salem Carpets for just $9.99. Stainmaster is a revolutionary breakthrough from DuPont that protects against most common food and beverage stains. It has stain resistance never before available. And now at Foot Brothers Carpet World, you can carpet five rooms for $9.99 or $72 a month for 18 months. Includes carpet padding and installation. For the best price, quality, selection, service, instant credit, and guarantee, come to Foot Brothers Carpet World, Aniston, Gadsden, and Albertville. But anyway, Katie, yes, we yes, we asked me. Christine? Really, so hang on. We've got to have a talk. Uh-oh, got to go. I thought Mom and I already had the talk. Not that talk. The phone talk. I get my own line? Nope. I ordered South Central Bell call waiting today. Oh? Now when I call home, I'll get your mother instead of eh, eh, eh. Call waiting is only two fifty a month, and you can save $20 with free connection. Hey, Dad, you know that talk Mom and I had? Uh-oh, got to go. <laughs> 
If it rolls, if it flies, if it's fun, you'll find it at Planes and Things. Radio Control Toys to satisfy your need for action. Cars, trucks, planes, and boats, the latest games for hours of fun and a great selection of preschool toys to keep the little ones happy and satisfied while learning. Interesting and educational hobbies for kids of all ages. Owners Eddie and Larry Taylor take pride in bringing you the latest in toys, games, and hobbies. You'll find something to put a little fun in anyone's life at Planes and Things. We sell fun. Jacksonville State will play at UT Martin Saturday. In my estimation, these are the two best teams in the Gulf South Conference this season. The game will go a long way in deciding the conference champion. One thing the Gamecocks must do to win is stop the Pacers' run-and-shoot offense. Formation is a tough formation to defense, but the, the, the players that they have and the coaching job they do with it is what makes that offense so tough. And to answer your question, it's awful hard to get ready to play it. But that's okay. You know, you only got X amount of days, and, you know, you just got to get out there and come up with a plan and... You know, the main thing is to get after him for full quarter. Two-time Cy Young Award winner Denny McLean has pleaded guilty to racketeering and cocaine charges stemming from a 1984 federal indictment under a plea agreement. The government recommended that McLean receive a prison term no longer than 12 years. And the Central Alabama Karate Championship will be held this Saturday in Roanoke. For more information, contact Billy Harrison in Roanoke at 863-2419. And that's a look at Tuesday night's sports. It's a new season on the Oprah Winfrey Show, but at the same time, on TV 40, every weekday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Get out of here. Get out of here. I thought this was going to be a show on sex. I don't know why I'm here. Following Oprah is Geraldo at 4 o'clock. The victims did do... Wait a minute. Let, you guys, let me get mine. Watch the Oprah Winfrey Show first on TV 40, weekdays at 3 o'clock, followed by Geraldo at 4. If you're gossiping about it... You don't see that every day. It's on Donahue. He was born in the USA, but today he's one of the world's best-known commies. Meet TV commentator Vladimir Posner. Here's a man who grew up in New York City, left us in 1948, came back two years ago. What's he think now? He's been all over America. Vladimir Posner, next Donahue. Phil Donahue, tomorrow morning at 8 on TV 40. Family Feud. Card Shark. The Price is Right. Weekdays on TV 40. Our rain chances continue for tonight, so there'll be periods of rain, a chance of a thunder shower. 55 degrees in the morning, north wind for tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. 72 degrees in the afternoon, 50 at night, and the extended forecast, partly cloudy. 70 degrees in the afternoon, 48 at night. Catherine. Thank you, Ted. Randy Owen, the lead singer for the band Alabama, has been elected to the board of directors of the Country Music Association. The Fort Payne native was among 16 new directors elected at the board's 30th annual membership meeting. The CMA is a trade organization for country music. It presents a nationally televised award show every October. A former Enterprise resident, four-star general author Edmund Brown has retired from the number two position in the Army. The Pentagon announced that the 59-year-old Brown has stepped down as director of the Army staff. Brown spent his teenage years in Enterprise when his father was stationed at Fort Rucker. That's the news tonight. Thanks for joining us. And be sure to join Mickey Ferguson as our news continues in the morning at 6.58. For Chuck and Ted, have a good evening. Brought to you by the Sunny King World Auto Center, one of America's top 200 volume dealers. Sunny King Volvo.